Hi guys, this is the second video um, at the start of the UK's changing physical um, environment and um, the first video was about the big processes that happen on the UK and this next one is about some smaller scale physical processes that create different types of landscapes. So to start with I'm just going to run you through some of the processes, the physical processes. Um, the first one is weathering. Now if we remember from maybe some of the other things that we've done in geography, weathering means weakening of the rock so weathering allows erosion to take place and the more weathered a rock is the easier it will be eroded or removed so weathering can take three different types and the first one is biological and if we remember all the way back maybe from uh, to year nine that biological weathering is where we have plant roots um, getting into the soil and into the rock and breaking it up and weakening the rock so then it's easier to be eroded uh, we've got chemical weathering where we have got slightly acidic rainwater that falls on rock that can be um, uh, dissolved and that will be something like limestone and slightly um, calcium carbonate etc you know the you know the um, the, 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 um, the, the chemical reactions and things so you can remember that from science hopefully and then the third one is physical weathering and physical weathering means things like freeze thaw. So when water gets into a crack, um, if it freezes, it will expand by about 9%, uh, making that crack wider. When the water unfreezes, we've got a larger crack there, water gets in again, freezes again, breaks it over by another 9% and that process goes on. So all of those processes weaken the rock and make it easier for erosion to happen. And erosion means removal of that rock. Now that can happen to, uh, in three or four ways. And these are called slope processes. So when a slope is uh, uh, weakened, then uh, what happens after that is that erosional processes kind of take that material down. So if it's harder rock, then that rock will be cracked open and weakened and uh, the rock will fall down um, in big chunks. And that's called rock fall because the rocks are falling. And the stuff that it produces at the bottom of a slope is called scree. Now scree, if you've ever been walking in the mountains and the lakes or Scotland or anywhere, um, it's quite small chunks of quite hard rock that are kind of at the bottom of the slopes and they're quite difficult to walk on and that's scree because it's just basically um, broken off and fall down. Uh, the next one that we have here are landslides that can happen as well where large amounts of rock kind of fall suddenly that can happen that generally happens on harder rock as well and then what happens on softer rocks those sedimentary rocks and clays and things like that is that it happens very very slowly the weight of the rock on the slope will very slowly under gravity kind of move down especially if you add rainwater to it it'll make it heavier so it'll come down and that's called soil creep okay and then the other thing that can happen is once I talked about the glaciers in the last video, after the glaciers left, um, water started because of rainwater, started coming down the valley and uh, river processes happened. Uh, so there are physical processes. I'm gonna end it there because my washing machine is still making a noise, so I'll see you later.